up you guys welcome back to my channel and today's look is really really fun today I use the ooh la la palette from a color pop it is a super cute and it came out on October 3rd which is a classic line now from the movie Mean Girls on October 3rd he asked me what day it was it's October 3rd if you guys haven't seen it have you been living under a rock that is literally such a good movie so i was really happy when they announced that they were going to come it kind of came as a surprise actually um this really cute pink palette that came out like i said on october 3rd so i had to pick it up I'm not gonna lie i thought it was a lot bigger i thought it was gonna be like their standard cardboard packaging size um but it's actually smaller and the shadows are a lot smaller as well. Once again, here is the packaging for the Ooh La La palette. Super cute. These are all of the really pretty shades. And the first transition shade I'm gonna go into is the shade Poodle, which is this really pretty baby pink shade. There's quite a bit of fallout with it, but like I said, that's not a big problem with me. Just tap off the excess. Oh wow. It's actually more pigmented than I thought it would be. <laughs> it's really pretty though. I like that. It looks more peachy actually on the eye than I thought it would. It's going on really nicely so far. No patchiness. I'm going to bring this eyeshadow all the way across. And I'm kind of smoking it out here. I want to kind of make it a winged shadow look today. At least that's what I'm going for. <laughs> it also makes your eye look a lot longer as well. All right, so there we go with the poodle shade and it looks really nice and super pigmented more than I actually thought it would be, like I said. And it definitely comes out more pinky peachy than I thought it would. It actually looks more baby pink in the pan, but I'm not mad at it. It looks really pretty. So now for the second transition shade, I'm gonna go into Sandbar, which is the hot pink shade in the palette right here. Kind of nervous about it, but I'm just gonna give it a try. <laughs> this shade also has quite a bit of fallout but like I said it's not a big deal as long as it's super pigmented so just tap off the excess. Wow this shade is really pretty as well. It's not as pigmented as I thought it would be. I thought it would be a lot more vibrant and pigmented. I mean it is, don't get me wrong, but you do have to build it up quite a bit. But that's actually a good thing, especially if it's like a really bright pigmented shade. You don't want to go overboard and then it's too late and then you have to redo your whole entire look all over again. So I do like that you can build up this shade to um, however you would like it to be. The more intense or the less intense that you want it to be. So I really enjoy that, but we're going for a very dramatic look today. So we're going all in. He's pretty much doing the same thing as the first transition shade, the poodle shade, and winging it out with the other shadow, and then kind of bring it a little bit up top just to blend those two together. And just very lightly on the outer corner. I'm very impressed so far with these colors. They're not patchy whatsoever. I mean, ColourPop has been stepping it up lately. And I'm just gonna go in with my transition brush from the first shade and blend out these edges. Now to create more of a dimension, I'm gonna go into the shade Caddy, which is one of the darkest shades in the palette, which is this really beautiful plummy purple shade. Once again, there is fallout. Um, that doesn't bug me, like I said, as long as the shadow performs amazingly. Wow, that was a lot of kickback. <laughs> Now I'm stamping this shade right underneath that pink sandbar shade. You can see I'm stamping it on to get the most pigment out of it. And it is pretty pigmented, as you guys can see. Wow. Now I'm going to use this smaller fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M562 brush. 
and I'm just gonna go around the edges here to blend them out. I find with this brush, it helps me so much with the eyeshadow not going too far up or smoking it out completely where it, you know, drowns the whole entire eye look. It keeps it very concentrated and blended at the same time. Loving how this is looking so far. The shadows are blending so beautifully and they're super pigmented. I am like, for pinks, it's very, very hard to formulate of what I've heard and of other pinks that I've tried out previously. These are blowing me away, honestly. And for ColourPop, that's absolutely amazing. So, you know, you can finish off the look with putting a shimmery shadow up top and you're good to go. But I love my half cut creases, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so we got this shape going on for the half cut crease. Now I'm just blending out the harsh edge right here. The first shade that I want to use on the lid is Moonstruck, which is this really pretty gold shade. I'm going to apply it first without wetting it, and it seems really pigmented, so let's see how it goes. This is without wetting the brush, you guys. That is very pigmented on its own. I'm super impressed. Well, ColourPop, that is super pretty. The next shade that I want to put on my lid is this opulent shade. It's like a purpley pink blue shift duochrome type of shade. And this was also another really pretty shade that drew me to getting this palette. So we're going to also try this first without wetting the brush. Now we're going to sandwich this in between. Oh, come on, are you freaking kidding me? This is... I'm applying this dry, you guys. Look how freaking pigmented it is. Just bring it into that gold shade to create that gradient effect. obsessed is literally the word for this look right now I am loving how it's turning out so far and these shadows are freaking blowing my mind right now I'm gonna go back into the caddy shade with this R39 brush from Morphe and I'm just going to pack this on the outer corner right here blend it in with that pink shade And I'm just blending the shade as well and winging it out very carefully like that. I am noticing right here in this spot that the color is not picking up very well. I don't know why. It picked up really well on the lid and it actually kind of darkened it more. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of trying to build it up to see if I can get it a little bit darker, but it seems like it's not grabbing maybe it's the concealer the shadow itself that it's probably not grabbing on or it can be the concealer that like i said um but yeah that's the only downfall so far but other than that i am loving how this is looking so far so the caddy shade does have more fallout than the other shades that i noticed so far which is to be expected because it's the you know the darkest shade in the palette all right so i'm pretty much done with the eye what do you guys think so far? I really like it. Um, unfortunately, with that caddy shade, and I can't get any pigment on that little spot, which is kind of annoying, um, but we'll work with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye off camera and the rest of my face, and then we'll come back and finish the lower lash line. All right, so for the waterline, instead of using a regular black eyeliner, I'm going to use this purple one, and this is from Kiss New York Professionals. I've shown these a couple of times on my channel before in different colors, I think. <laughs> so this is the shade purple, and I'm just going to put this on, on my waterline. All right, so going back into the palette, we're going to use the shade Poodle, the same one that we used as our tr first transition shade. And I'm putting this underneath my lower lash line. I'm going to mix a little bit of Sandbar, that hot pink shade, and kind of combine those two shades together. 
going to use the shade Caddy, which is that purple, and use this closest to the waterline. Now for the inner corner, I'm going to use the shade Tickled, which is kind of also like a duochrome white silvery with a bit of like a pink um, flex in it. Super pretty. Mascara, I'm using my Benefit Roller Lash. So that was it you guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick eye look using the Ooh La La palette from ColourPop which I was so blown away by the pigmentation and it's just absolutely amazing and for $12, I mean you can't really complain. The only shade that I had trouble with was with Caddy. As you guys can see, it didn't cling on to, into certain uh, spots that I really wanted it to. But other than that, I think it's a really, really awesome palette. You find it on ColourPop's website. I'm not sure if it's limited edition or not. I hope it's not. If I'm not mistaken, some of these shades are existing shades that are in singles. Um, don't quote me on that, but I think that's what I heard. Um, I don't own any of these shades, so I was really happy that I got to pick this up. Like I said, it's only $12, and you can't really go wrong with this palette, especially if you like pops of color, playing around with pinks, and I really had a lot of fun at creating this look. So if you guys like this look, please give it a thumbs up and leave in the comments down below of any other type of looks you guys would like to see. I'll also leave all the rest of my makeup details down below for you guys if you guys were wondering. And all of my other social medias will also be linked down below. A link to the ColourPop Lola La palette if you guys are interested in it. So that was it you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video once again. I don't have anything else to say except I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I know you're gonna be alright You wanna make